It's going to be an interesting challenge for BYU's defense tonight. Hawaii features one of the best running games and running backs that the school's ever had. For more on the Cougar defensive game plan, Spencer with defensive coordinator Elisa Tuiaki. Coach, how would you describe the mentality, the attitude, and the focus of the team right now before this game against Hawaii? You know, we're the, it, we had an opportunity to come and, and uh, uh, get a little bit of personal time during during Thanksgiving as well as be with our families and and uh, get ready for this game. So I think that uh, you know, leading up to this moment, it's it's been good. They've had some time to themselves, but also we're kind of geeked up right now to just get back to football. What would a win today do to impact how you view the overall season? I mean, wins every week are huge, you know, and, and especially going off uh, where it's the, the seniors' last game. Um, it's in a place where I know we're going to have probably more fans than they will. Um, we're, we're really excited to, excited for this game and just to send the seniors out the right way and, and also just have the, the right taste in your mouth to leading up to the next year. Handsome Tani Elu said last week that he feels like the defense is capable of and wants to pitch a shutout with the offense struggling. How feasible is a shutout against this Hawaii team? I don't know. It's, you know, I think if everybody just does their job and uh, and uh, plays the best of their ability, you know, we'll we'll see what happens. But you're also you're, you're playing college football where there's a lot of capable people on the other side and. I think things things go our way as far as the ball bouncing the right way and and guys making plays. Then, um, you know, we'll never know what's going to happen. How would you explain your overall defensive performance up to this point of the season? I think the kids played hard all year, and that's always been a positive to go off of. Um, you know, obviously not being able to take, get as many take, takeaways as we want um, normally happens when you're playing from behind. Um, but uh, you know, we we just. I thought they battled, you know, and there's a lot of good things to build off of. There's um, getting a lot of secondary, the, the experience that they need, um, but also the the overall scheme that, that we're trying to get to with the with the guys up front. I feel like the last two games we're really starting to see what what uh, what they're capable of and what we want to want to have. And so, um, you know, the biggest thing is we really got to start to play from in front where you you know second third down or really first and second down you're, you're stopping them and third down again it's long situations where you can cut the d lineman loose and play a little bit more aggressive with the with the with the coverage um and that normally doesn't happen until you really start scoring points and you're playing from in front and, and teams start uh you know start to reach a little bit as far as just moving the ball on you and you can you can really create takeaways that way and so um the, you know i think i think it's been good overall uh, lots of work on, but uh, they've, they've been they've been solid overall. As you mentioned, you anticipate a good BYU showing today in terms of fans. Nick Rolovich, the Hawaii head coach, said that BYU is Hawaii's biggest rival. How do you view this matchup today? You know, it's always, especially just with the with the amount of LDS people on on both sides. It's it's always uh, always been a game. You know, always been a game between the two schools and have, have a rich rich history playing all the way back when they were still in the same conference and so. Um, I think I think it's always a fun matchup between these two schools. Coach, thanks for the time. Great to talk to you and good luck today. Thank you.